All right. Giving our praises and glories to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the elect men out there pushing this word in sincerity and truth. I'm just the brothers of Bach and I have the brother Aina. We're both from the GMS Dallas camp. And I was just, uh, we just wanted to put this quick lesson out together. Um, hopefully that is edifying um, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Um, we're going to get into this little event that happened yesterday in Pennsylvania where uh, there was a gunman that ran into a synagogue and uh, shot 11 and killed 11 people. You know, uh, through the spirit, we believe that it's, uh, it's a false flag uh, event, of course, which the majority of all of these events are false flag, but um, it's an attack on the men of the Lord because, uh, uh, you know, of course, he's attacking the Jews, and he yelled, uh, what it says, um, all Jews, let me see if I can find it. The guy yelled out, uh, let me see, damn it, here it is right here. He said, uh, all Jews must die, you know, uh, 11 killed in the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting. Government yelled, all, all Jews must die and uh, open fire in the synagogue. You know, it, uh, I was reading something where it said they were doing, I think it's on this one, they were uh, having a Sabbath service or whatever. And then they were um, also about to do a circumcision. You know, and we all know that those circumcisions are sick, you know. The, the, the way that they do them, of course, um, I don't know if it was an oral one or not because uh, they practice uh, oral circumcisions where, where they do the circumcision, but they suck the blood off of the, the, the boy's penis, you know. But ultimately, um, that's besides the point. What we're, get, what we're getting into is the time of Jacob's trouble soon approaching, you know, with these attacks on the men of the Lord. Uh, this is one of them going into uh, a synagogue and killing 11 people. And uh, Donald Trump had uh, a statement um, about anti-Semitism and this, this is it right here. You know, I'm gonna read it. It says, uh, President Donald Trump hit at a climate of hate in America and beyond. I guess he kept throwing out that word hate um, while his daughter Ivanka, a convert to Judaism, denounced a uh, depraved attack and Vice President Mike Pence called it an assault on our freedom of religion. And this is a quote from Donald Trump. He said, there must be no tolerance for anti-Semitism. The president told supporters at the campaign event for next month's midterm election. This wicked act of mass murder is pure evil, hard to believe, and frankly, something that is unimaginable. Um, our nation and the world are shocked by the stunned and uh, Salakia are shocked and stunned by the grief. Well, you know, first of all, those those people are not the real Jews, the, the true Jews, the true children of Israel, or the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the reason why we believe that this to be an attack on the men of the Lord, because of course we speak against the children of Israel, uh, uh, Salakia, we speak against the so-called Jews uh, claiming to be the children of Israel uh, living in the land uh, what that the Most High gave us because we are the true uh, nation of Israel uh, or the nation of Yasharala, which is the correct way of saying it. Um, um, you could go ahead and get that in Revelation, Baba Kasha, brother. Kind. All right. This is Revelation chapter 12, uh, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come upon has come down upon you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. God, it says, uh, woe to the earth, because the devil know that he has a short time. He's gonna come. He's gonna come down with great wrath upon us, you know. And uh, this is the beginning of it, you know, with all these. Uh, these little side jabs that they're doing 
um, which of course Esau, the so-called white man, he uh, he's the one that, that that did this false flag event, uh, calling it an act of terror or whatever he's calling it, you know, but uh, of hate, an uh, act of hate, because uh, of course the world is going to say that everything that we do and preach and stand for is hate, hate speech and and, and the hate acts, you know, um, and they're they're going to come against the men of the Lord, but uh, with them coming against the men of the Lord, there's going to be a uh, a silencing of the word, you know, with ulti which ultimately they can't do anything to the <clears throat> to the Lord's elect, uh, because the, the Most High is gonna, is going to put a hedge over us, you know, knowing that there will be martyrs for the truth, but ultimately those martyrs will be saved as well. Um, can you get that in Jeremiah, Baba Kishan? Can. All right, let me uh, pull it. If you had anything, brother, go, go right ahead. Con, yeah. Um, I mean, we understand that Satan is, is coming against the men of the Lord through uh, the two thirds and Esau. You know, so I wanted to uh, I want to pull this pre quick preset real quick. Uh, this is uh, if you don't mind, brother. Mm, Con. All right. This is uh, Psalms chapter seventeen, uh, verse uh, eight. It says. Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. From the wicked that oppress me, from the deadly enemies who compass me about. All right. Now, this uh, in Psalm 17 and 8 is pretty much two scriptures combined in one, even though the ones that I'm about to quote, they came after uh, this was written. So the mm -hmm. apple of the Lord's eye. That was written about in uh, Ze uh, Zechariah chapter 2. All right. He that touches you touches the apple of the Most High's eye. Talking about these other nations coming against Israel. Okay. Uh -huh. Because the Most High esteemed these other nations <clears throat> like unto spittle. They're nothing. They're worthless to him. So when mm -hmm. they touch something that's valuable, uh, as valuable as his people, he, he gets angry, right? Um, right? And which is why that ain't, that fear is going to come down upon these other nations. Also, you have. Uh, the week, oh, and then uh, hide me under the shadow of thy wings. I believe that's in Psalms 91, okay, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, you know, that goes into how the Most High is going to protect us in that day, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and we're bringing out these articles because these days are coming where we are going to see uh, persecution, direct persecution of, uh, of brothers that's in the truth, okay, or just Israelites in general. Um, who knows that who know that they're Israelites okay mm -hmm. because they're the ones who are spreading the truth and Esau the devil he's the deceiver so we're exposing him uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, real, real quick and then just kind of expounding on verse 9 it says from the from the wicked that oppress me and like I said the wicked that oppress us are the two-thirds and, and Esau of course but two-thirds mm -hmm. gonna sell out to Esau um, right. as they already have it says, from my deadly enemies who can pass me about. So it's going to get to that point where, you know, you see in the, in the movies, you got the one guy in the middle and then you got the other guys around him, surrounding him. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that, that man's going to have to stand for what he believes in, <clears throat> you know. So, uh, yeah, I just want to pull that real quick. And then you said you wanted uh, that in Jeremiah, right? Yeah, Con, 30 and 7. Okay. All right, Jeremiah chapter 30 and 7. It says, alas... You know what? You mind if I start up uh, at verse 5? Sure. All right. This is Jeremiah 30 and 5. For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Uh, uh, Nate, <laughs> not of peace. Okay. Um, and, uh, it says, ask ye now and see whether a man doeth travail with child wherefore do i see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it uh, amen it's the time of jacob's trouble and it said, it's talking about a man going to travail like a woman giving birth. A man going to be so afraid. A man's going to be in such pain and agony, you know. And, and, and like a woman giving birth, she don't have no control of how 
her body is going to react to to the con contractions and things like that. She don't have no choice but to go through that. Like I saw this movie, um, I think it's called Quiet House or Silent Place or something like that, where um, there's this little there's these monsters um, out that that hear sound. So any little sound, so they they can't do nothing but you know be silent through the whole movie. And and but there's a woman that's pregnant, you know what I'm saying. And even when even with the thought of the monster hearing her and gonna kill her, they had to find some type of spot where they could seclude the sound uh, that she was gonna make. I'm just going to you know a man travailing like he's not gonna have no choice but to go through that pain. He can't. He's not gonna be able to 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 uh with to withstand or to reject the agony and pain that's coming you know through the the actions that the most high is going to put on the earth through the things that the most high is going to start revealing to the earth you know because there's, there's grave times that's coming where there's going to be monsters you know creatures spiritual uh, apparitions there are going to be things of the plagues that's coming uh famine a uh, lack of food lack of water you know um uh, Men, men turning against each other. All of these things that's gonna come that lead up to the salvation of Yasharala, the salvation of the children of Israel, of the elect of the children of Israel. Um, there's gonna be very, it's gonna be very, very, very tough times. You know, the time of Jacob's trouble. It's not. It's, uh, can you read that last part again, or verse seven again, Baba Kisha, The end of it. Kai. Jeremiah thirty and seven. It says in the middle. Um, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. God and Jacob is going to be saved out of it, but only a fraction of Jacob, only a one third, and the men of the Lord, and the men of the Lord, which is the hundred and forty four thousand, are going to be saved out of the out of Jacob's trouble. You know, but um, right. I had a, I had a precept real quick, if you don't mind. Can I get? All right, uh, this is Isaiah chapter thirteen. And eight, it says, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed uh, one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. It says, well, let me break that down first. When it says um, pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them, that's going into what we just uh, read in Jeremiah 30. Uh, where mm -hmm. it says uh, they're going to be like a woman uh, in travail, okay? God, a woman, a woman that's uh, having her contractions. She's about to give up. Uh, she's about to bring forth her child. And um, the reason why we're saying this is because Esau is going to try to terrify us, okay, by making the whole world knowledgeable of us in a in a in a in a bad light, he's gonna put his wicked spin on it. He's gonna contort and twist the truth so that the people come against us. Because when you uh, when you look at the gospel, there were certain times where the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees they wanted to kill Yahweh, but what did it say? But they feared the people. See, Yahweh was in good light. He was in the, he was in uh, he had a good rapport with the people. Even though he has haters, Israel as a nation, they you know they 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 didn't have anything bad to say about him. That's why they had to. That's why uh, uh, Yahusha had to be betrayed at nighttime when there was nobody else around. He couldn't be arrested right then and there. Okay, because why? Because everyone else would see. That's why when everybody woke up the next day, they were like, "Damn, what the hell happened last night?" You know. Because Satan works in darkness. So the point is, we're not ignorant to Satan's devices, which is why it's important to stay on top of what's being uh, posted on the news. Because ultimately, it reminds us that these times are coming. Okay? These God. times are coming. The day of the Lord. All right? A destruction. All right? Because it's not only going to be Esau that's going to be uh, travailing like a woman. Okay? Uh, Two-thirds are going to be doing that, too. And Esau, mm -hmm. matter of fact, Salaki, brother, I don't want to just ramble too long. Okay. It's okay, brother. Um, let me, I want to get a precept in 2nd Ezra, uh, where it says um, the righteous are going to suffer straight things. Um, 
and hope for Y. Let me see. It's in Second Ezra's. Uh, yeah, here it is, right here. All right, Second uh, Ezra, chapter seven. All right. Um, all right. It says. It says. Um, Nevertheless, the righteous shall shall suffer straight things and hope for why. Okay. Uh, now straight is spelled S T R A I T, which we know means a position of difficulty. Okay. Uh -huh. And so we're going to be going through a position of difficulty due to Esau's slander. All right. And his propaganda. All right. So continuing on in verse 18, for they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and they uh, and yet shall not see the wise. So everybody's going to catch hell. The, it says the righteous shall suffer straight things and the wicked, they that have done wickedly uh, shall suffer straight things. OK. But the, the difference is the end uh the end uh game man okay what's gonna happen in the end we're gonna receive the why we're gonna receive the elect lord willing with right. men. we're gonna receive the kingdom they are gonna not see the why they're the wicked are not gonna see that 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 why pastor uh uh and, you know represent representing anyway uh the kingdom you see mm -hmm. and so that's the point man you know we're we're, we're geared we're, we're percent we're preparing our souls for temptation, we know it's coming, but the point is, if we endure until the end, we're gonna receive that crown. You got it, bro. God. Oh, brother, you you right on the money with that. I mean, uh, <clears throat> man, we got we got a lot of enduring to do. You know, um, the Most High set this thing up, man, for us to have have faith in Him ultimately. You know, because uh, man, we can't save ourselves. Even if we wanted to, you know, the Most High is the one that's going to do the saving. But we can prepare, you know, with fear. As the scripture says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, you know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull that in a second address. God. Um, is there any more so, on that article as well? Um, It might be a little more, but I just, the point was the, um, the um, anti Semitism um, remark. But ultimately, you know, we know that it was a so-called white man that did the. Um, I can show who 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 did the uh, killing. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we always got to show the perpetrator. God, look at this devil. Yeah, zoom in on that dude, man. Perfect, perfect devil. Look at this devil. Yep. You know. And you know, you set up, bro. Esau set up somebody to kill the president, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Out here in Dallas. That right. was back in the 60s, man. You don't think Esau out here paying a hitman to do, you know what I'm saying? Of course. Right. On, right. Bro. And our people are so blind, man. They just out here voting and just carrying on, man. Like nothing is going on, man. All the while. Look, 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 look who they had to come in um, at the shooting. Look, look, look what they had, the regalian that they had to, uh, to take care of this matter, you know they had these troops. They got a whole. They got a whole. They got their whole little head, head, everything, bro. They militarized. They say police, but hell, they militarized, bro. They got cameras. They got everything, bro. Esau, Esau, come out with the big guns, bro. <laughs> you know that's what. That's you know what, what I'm saying? Excited. That's what makes God. me excited. This thing got a big ass gun. That mug go all the way to his feet. Right. Like Mortal Kombat, man. <laughs> right, bro. Right, right. Esau like, ready, well, where, man. Well, where, where is Esau coming to protect? Uh, uh, the Jakes is getting shot by police. You know? Right, They're right, right. Hey, freeze, you know, officer. Right, bro. You know, we're, right, we're the bro. military. We're going to come in here and... Nah, man. Mm-hmm. Whenever there's some damn Amalekites getting so-called killed, then it's a big problem. When they're the, they're the useless, most useless people on the planet. Mm-hmm. Right, bro. 
But but this this is coming to a hood near you. Uh, I uh, not I can, but uh, uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is coming to a, a hood near you, man. Mass murder and destruction. Mm -hmm. Straight utter chaos, man. Um, I'm gonna pull that second Ezra chapter um, 15 and 14 says, "Woe to the world um, and them that dwell in, therein, for the sword." And their destruction draws nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another people, so like against another, and swords in their hands. You want to speak on it, bro? Yeah, man. The world and them that dwell therein, destruction, destruction, and more destruction is coming upon this place, man. Um, before World War One and World War Two. It wasn't just one day where everybody just started bombing each other. And even though that's going on right now, dang near, there's bombings going on and shootings and proxy wars going on right now. Mm -hmm. World War One and World War Two had to get cranked up first. We're seeing the cranking up of World War Three. Every little individual act will lead up to World War Three. And we're going to see the downfall of this place because mm -hmm. that's why the Most High is having another world war. If he wants peace to be on earth, he right. will make peace. There right. is a reason why he is not letting these nations off the gas. He controls the minds of the people, mm -hmm. but he's making them get more and more more riled up as the days progress. So, okay. world to the world and them that dwell therein, all right? Because other people are going to be affected as well, uh, even the ones that's not fighting. It says, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. What's the, the sword? What's the sword and their destruction? Esau's uh, 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 military, okay? But really, the sword from all of the, uh, all the nations, the gun from all the nations, okay? Mm. Esau got the most guns, we know that. He got all the mm -hmm. missiles and, and all that. Most of the missiles, I should say. He's got a lot of them. Right. All right. But all the people are going to be affected. It says, for the mm -hmm. sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another. That's called a war. Okay. Exactly. And uh, their swords in their hands. They're going to have guns in their hands. Put, come on, man. Because why? Uh, because uh, uh, of all of these... Uh, indifferences that's being publicized. The minds of the people are being forced to choose okay, America or terrorism. That's their options in their minds. Well, if I'm not a, if not, I'm not a patriot, then what am I, a terrorist? Right. You know? Because they don't know, understand their heritage. I'm talking about Jake at this point, because Esau, who gives a damn about him? All right, but um, did you want me to read more on that, brother? Oh, um, no. Uh, I'll keep going. It says, uh, for there shall be sedition amongst men, among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings, nor princes. And the curse and the Salakia and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You know? Now, this is going into civil war. Okay. Um, civil war, and of course, war um, from nation against nation, right? Where it says that there should be a sedition. Could you uh, look up the definition of that word? Sedition, Baba Kusha. Go ahead. Um, it says there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. All right. Just like, uh, what was, who uh, didn't Hitler make the first move? I think, what was it, against Hungary or something like that? Hitler invaded somebody. And that was what they call, you know, the, the start of World War II. That was the act that started it. You know, because they were like, nope, stop. You know, the other nations, Britain and French, they're like, stop, don't do not do it. You know, he did it, Hitler did that mug, and then they declared war against Germany. And it just started right. like that, boom. Sedition. Uh, what does it say? Word, this is the word sedition. It says, conduct or speak, inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. Mm. So that's like... um. Like treason getting perpetuated, basically. Mm -hmm. Rebellion. Okay. Basically, it should be rebellion. Uh, well, yeah, that's the spirit. That's one of the uh, synonyms. I didn't even see that. 
rebellion, yep. revolt, Good. insurrection, mm-hmm. riot. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, insubordination, yeah. disobedience, right. resistance, defiance. All right, right. Are going to apply to the minds of the people when God, they find out, you. damn, Esau ain't really for me. He won't be yeah, yeah. for, you know, whatever, whatever it is, is going to make these people's minds click. Damn. Esau just Hell yeah. for you got something to right. Say? Civil disorder. God, civil disorder. It's gonna be it's gonna be, I don't know if brothers, I don't know if y'all played that game, um, infamous, but in that game infamous, it's nothing but chaos going on in the streets, bro. It's nothing but like martial law and 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 people just tripping, you know. And then in, in the midst of that, you got motherfuckers with powers, you got beasts that's that's springing out of the out of the earth. Man, I'm telling you, man, um, uh, the most high guy, man, the most high got something, something very, um, man, something, something very strange and, and special and, and, and different and, and evil and scary and fearful. I mean, it's just going to be, it's going to be a time that, man, bro, we ain't going to, we're going to think we're living in a movie, bro. It's going to be like, what the fuck? Like, the men of the Lord are going to understand what's going on. But the people are gonna they gonna be bugged out, bro. They're gonna be like, what the hell is this? I can't believe this shit is going on. Like, but like like the scriptures say, you know, this is gonna happen. The sedition amongst men, this they're gonna start bickering. First is this is gonna be people gonna start realizing, man, hold on, man. This government is fucked up, man. What the, what they doing? They're gonna it's gonna click. It's like it's gonna already click for the men of the Lord that this some bullshit. But for people, it's finally gonna click, and everybody gonna be against the government. Everybody's gonna be against um um the the powers that be and how they set this thing up because they're gonna finally realize, man, this is fucked up. This is wrong, you know. And people are gonna people are gonna uh, rebel, you know. God, God. Yep, that's why it says sedition. Mm-hmm. Um, it says I'll keep reading. Okay. Yeah, it says um, sedition among men and invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their action shall stand in their power. You know, people going to do what the hell they want to do. And we're like, man, fuck that. I'm going in that store. I'm going to grab me some diapers. Fuck this shit. They talking about, nah, you know. You think it's just gonna be everybody just gonna start riding and going for diapers and all? Somebody gonna eventually have the courage to just fuck it. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna. Go, I'm just gonna take the shit. I don't have no money, but I gotta get it. Then everybody else gonna be like, "What he think he doing? Oh, he ain't gotta pay shit. Fuck that. I'm not paying." Then it's just gonna. It's gonna be crazy, bro. God, God. It's gonna God. be crazy. Yeah. It's verse God. seventeen. It says, "A man shall desire to go into a city and should not be able, for because of their pride." The city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's the beautiful part about these prophecies, man. The news article doesn't tell you what is, what's going to happen afterwards. They just say, look, this is what happened right now, which is good to know what's going on right now. The right. scriptures let you know what is going to be at the end, you see? Because if you read at the beginning of this chapter, in the first verse, it tells it's a commandment from uh from 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 uh Yahweh uh by Shem Shai saying to prophesy in the ears of the most high's people. That's exactly mm-hmm. what we're doing. You see? And so martial law is part of the scriptures. Civil war is part of the scriptures. Okay? Insurrection and and uh, revolutions and all that stuff is part of the scriptures we're reading it right now that is what's going to come after all of this stuff that's what's going to be the sum of all this stuff all right what is all this stuff leading to that we're reading about in these articles and that we've seen on the news that we're experiencing in the economy this right here what we're reading in second Ezra chapter 15 all right uh starting at verse 14 man right you know um was uh, this, this, this is the last um this is the last verse. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. Mm. It says 
He's gonna have no pity upon his neighbors. That sounds a lot like um, what's that movie, The Purge? Mm-hmm. Just killing him with no remorse, right? Come on, come on. Also, you got um, uh, destroy their houses with a sword. So a lot of these troops, man, they're not even gonna have to kick down doors and go do all that, man. A, a nigga that's hungry is gonna come rob you. You know, mm-hmm. a rob is going to go rob somebody. You know. Mm-hmm. God, this uh, is that word tribulation, I kill. Okay. <clears throat> it says a cause of great trouble or suffering. And then it says a state of trouble or suffering. You know. Mm. They're going to be in a state of trouble or suffering, man. Wow, look at that that ex- that uh example down there. Mm-hmm. His time of tribulation was just beginning. This world's time of, of suffering and great trouble. It's just beginning, man. This ain't even ain't nothing really going on right now. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right, the beautiful right. part about it. Right. We about it's, to see it's... some leveling, some some ramping up of right. the construction, man. So it's time to get uh. it's time to get excited, man. Like Apostle Real Cox said in his video that he titled yesterday, "Any Day Now." Okay, that right. was the title of his lesson. Any day now, because any day now, this infrastructure can crumble. Esau can hit the demolition switch and then boom. Mm-hmm. Like the Twin Towers is coming down. Right. Okay? Right. They already showing you insurrection. They got they got people doing pipe bombs uh towards government officials. They tried to t- try to uh send a pipe bomb to Hillary Clinton, uh President Obama, and many others that are officials, you know, that that go into that sedition. You know, going into that insurrection where, where people are coming against the government. You know, they they like, man, hey, that's an attack on the government, bro. That's the scriptures being played out right there. Right there, bro. And I was like, damn, they it was like I don't remember how many pipe bombs they had got, but it was quite a few of them. That's not that ain't nothing to take light, bro. But the but the media is, is got it to where they ain't really, you know, people not really taking it serious where it's just like it's it's something but it's nothing because it ain't affecting us. So it's nothing. But it's it is affecting us. It's going to affect us because they they re, they 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 um they they get into that point, you know, they climb in that mountain, they get into that peak where they're gonna finally uh execute, you know, their plans, you know. <laughs> Oh, can you get um Psalms um seventy-three and seventeen? Bob good shot. Psalm seventy three and seventeen. I got you, brother. Mm-hmm. All right. This is Psalms chapter seventeen, uh seventy-three and seventeen. It says, Until I went into the sanctuary of the most high, then understood I therein. And oh, uh drew me the you said Psalm seventy three and seventeen. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's it. Until okay. I went into, until yep. I went into the uh, the sanctuary. Yeah, seventy three. Uh, so like, yeah. I'll be yeah, there, until I went, yeah. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Truth. When you come into the light, right? Okay. When you because when you you're not in the sanctuary being a nigga and just walking around and not paying attention to what's going on mm-hmm. uh, in, in in the world at all. I just don't know right. what's going on at all. Right. Like, right. You don't have to be uh uh, a geopolitical uh, guru, all right, but mm-hmm. you want to at least know what's going on in, in, in some type of fashion, you know. Come on, come and, uh, on. You know, we know the Middle East is a hotbed, and the thing that is fueling that war, no matter how many different little excuses they want to come up to distract uh, you, uh, the uh, thing that is fueling that war is fuel, is uh, oil, crude oil, okay, because right. that is what essentially gets your products to your house. That is how Esau is able to build these super cities, these metropolitan, uh, futuristic metropolitans by way of his automobiles. You see? Right, right. God. Hell yeah, yeah, bro. And uh, it's just talking about, it said, uh, then I understood therein, which is, uh, if you read up, it was talking about the, the wicked, you know, how they um pretty much um. It said uh, earlier in the verse three, it says, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, you know, because uh, 
he he's seeing the, the end of the wicked by coming into the sanctuary of the Most High, which we are in that sanctuary and in the, in the, in the covering of, of the Most High through a spirit of truth and him revealing this truth to us and, and giving us the understanding of what's going on, the understanding of prophecy, the understanding that the Most High is, is involved and it's not us uh, against life, you know, like the so-called Christian church makes it seem. It's just, you know, we, we you know, they don't they don't preach that the Most High is in control of everything and all the actions and all of our actions. You know, all the king's actions and the, and the princes and the, everybody that's in charge, the most highest is, is is instructing these things to go down. You know, he already laid our lives, uh, laid our lives already. Uh, he laid the path for our lives and, and it's already written what was going to happen in the end. You know, but we understand the end of the wicked. It says, surely, so, uh, so like you can continue, Baba Kasha. Todd, um, so continue. Oh, actually... If you uh, if you wouldn't mind, brother, can mm -hmm. I uh, can I uh, get this uh, precept real quick? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Um, this is uh, Proverbs, uh, chapter sixteen and one. It says, "The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh." Okay, and uh, the thing is, man, everything that everything that the most high puts the spirit on Esau, uh, specifically Trump, to say, because did we get what he said in the article? Did we get what, what his response was? Mm hmm. Talking about the anti Semitism. And, and, right. You know, pretty much it was a hateful thing. The preparations of the heart and man and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh. So the most high wanted Donald Trump to say that. Right. Okay. He wants this thing to continue. Brothers say, hey, I'm trying to get out of here. The most high working in ways you sleep. Donald Trump making speeches at four in the morning and these other nations, you know, coming together trying to find out how they can destroy each other. Right. Okay. Our prayers are being answered, brothers. We have to be able to have that sight to see what's really going on. You know? Mm -hmm. So let me go back here. Uh, you said Psalm 73. And what yeah. did you want me to continue uh, on? Uh, 18 through 19. Okay. Verse 18, it says, Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou uh, thou castest them down into destruction. God, How like they 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 think that they they're gonna implement their their martial. They think that they're gonna implement their new world order, and it's just gonna all go smoothly. You know, uh, the the elites believe that their um, their that that their end is gonna continue, but they that they're on they're in slippery places. The Most High said, and that they're gonna um, be cast down into destruction. You know, you can keep going. Okay, verse nineteen. How are they brought down into desolation as in a moment? Mm. They are utterly consumed with terrors. God, okay. they go. They're gonna be consumed with terrors, man. Even the elites are going to be consumed with terrors. You know, they're going to open up this Pandora's box, man. And it, because they think that their plan is going to go through, but they really opening up a box, you know, which is the most highest plan, of course. But it's, it's, it's really a plan of terrors on both ends, man. They're going to be afraid. The people are going to be afraid. In the men of the Lord, we're going to be shook, but we're going to be, we're going to have comfort in how about Shimmy I was shy, you know? We ain't gonna just be breezing through it like we ain't we ain't terrified our damn self. But we're gonna have comfort in how about Shema Shah. The most high is gonna be with us. The most high is gonna get, be that shelter. He's he's gonna he's gonna ensure that he's with us because things are gonna miraculously happen. Not only we're we gonna have superpower, you know, or spiritual power, but if if the spiritual power didn't come but later, we're gonna be protected. Things are gonna happen, it's just gonna fall in order. We're gonna be like, fuck. You know, that was a, that was close. Like shit is going to happen and it's just going to fall in order. Things are just going to fall in place. We're just going to be able to just like we're going to be surprised at what's going on. But at the same time, it's just everything in regards to our life is just going to be like we're going to we're going to barely miss things. It's just going to happen like and it's going to be like that. We're going to know that it's the spirit of the Lord protecting us. It's an angel over us, man, protecting us. And we're gonna we're gonna stumble up on food. A motherfucker might just rob some food and 
about to uh, take his food back to the crib and some just come and snatch his ass up and then the food just dropped in front of us like, oh shit, like, and then we're like, we hungry, so we gonna grab the food. Like, it was for us, it was for us you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm. Like, that's the kind of shit that's gonna go down. Like, we're gonna know that the spirit of the Lord is dealing with us, man. We're gonna know the most high is protecting us, even if we don't get the power right off. Even even because like when we have spiritual power to heal, we know the most high with us. We have power to do that. We have power to uh to 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 teleport, walk, run fast, and fly and shit. Like we know the most high dealing with us. Then I'm talking about before that happened. And all hell going to break loose and we don't have the power. Some brothers might do have the power across the four corners of the earth, but we might not have it at the time. And we might just be in the midst, in the midst of the chaos, but it's going to, it's going to miss us though. Like, you know, I hope I'm explaining it. <laughs> I hope I'm oh, explaining yeah. it good. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I have a precept real quick. Come on, brother. This is Psalms chapter 44, verse four. Thou four, art four. my king. God. Well, four, 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 it's a lot. God, thou art my king, O my power. Command deliverances for Jacob. And uh, the way that we're going to be saved, man, it said it in uh, Jeremiah chapter 30. It says the righteous shall be saved out of it, meaning out of just out of trouble, out of, out of destruction. Mm -hmm. We're going to be mm -hmm. saved by way of the chariots. Um, and, uh, it says in verse five, through thee, we will push down our enemies. Through thy name, we will tread them under that rise up against us. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, we're going to receive that spiritual power. Lord willing, we're those men. Okay. Verse six, for I will not trust in my bow. Neither shall my sword save me. All right, so we're not gonna need a gun. We're not gonna need a gun, man. Kind. We're just gonna have faith, and that's gonna get us through. Whether we, you know, do something miraculous as far as you know uh, what you see in movies and stuff like that, or if it's just something that's under the scenes that you know is spiritual power, you can, you know, right? Okay, you know, other people may not see. It, the Most High has so many ways to deliver. Okay. Kind. The most I, it's the scriptures say the most I is going to make a way to escape that trouble that we face. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Was that first Corinthians chapter 10 and 13? Mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and so I know we were reading in uh, Psalms. Are we still? Yeah, that was the end of that. I, okay. I got a precept real quick. It's okay. uh first Peter chapter four and 18. It says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved where shall the ungodly and sinner appear you know the we're gonna scarcely be saved like i said bro some of the some of the men of the lord are gonna be in situations where we ain't gonna know how the hell we got out of this shit like if a fucking bus might uh, like run straight past us bro and they just barely graze our nose where we can't we can touch it but maybe the little fine little beady hairs on our nose felt it like bro if we would have been a minute sooner or uh, a second sooner walking that way, we would have got flattened. You know, everybody else got flattened. You know, shit like that. Anything like a tree gonna fall down, motherfucking bear gonna come, about to look like he charging at you. And then something happened, he gets somebody else. Like, bro, you just never know what, what could happen, bro. And we're gonna know that we're being protected. We're gonna know, like, on the Walking Dead, um, <laughs> It's a guy on there called uh, the black guy. Um, what's his name? Morgan. Morgan's like I don't die. Like he just know he just he don't I don't die. Like that's that's my power or something. Like that's how the men of the Lord gonna know. Like we just don't die. Like we nothing happens to us. Like I can go. Like we're gonna be in the house with our family or something. And we've been out before, and they are gonna be like, don't please don't go, please don't go. We know this is like. No, we ain't gonna die, bro. I I have faith. The Most High gonna protect us. The Most High gonna protect me. You know, the Most High's with me. You know. Yeah, so and is, if we do, if we do, uh, perish. I got a scripture for it. Let's read right. this real quick. Right. Hosea thirteen and fourteen. It says, "Well, you know what? I'm gonna read up in verse. Uh, I'm gonna read up in verse thirteen. 
You um, said Jose? Jose 13 and 13. Now, this okay. is going into how uh, Ephraim uh, has been going off, right? They talk about mm -hmm. that starting in verse 1, this chapter. All right, mm -hmm. so let's read Let's read uh, this in 13. Because like I said, this, this I'm going to read it real quick. The sorrows of a travailing woman shall come upon him. He that is unwise, uh, that is an unwise son, he is mm -hmm. an unwise son, uh, for he should not stay long in the place of the breaking forth of children. That, that was talking about Ephraim before he uh, was taken into captivity mm -hmm. um, uh, by uh, you know in, in the Assyrian Empire. Uh, I should say Ephraim as the, the 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 tribe of Ephraim, but Ephraim represents the northern tribes. So really, all the right. northern tribes. Uh, were taken out of uh, Samaria uh, mm -hmm. into uh, captivity. And so it says in verse 14, I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. Because sin, what is the reward for sin? Death, death. right? God. And what is death? I'm sorry, what is sin? The transgression of the law. So the uh, transgression of the law leads to death. Now, it says, I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. So mm -hmm. the Most High is going to redeem us from the transgression of the law. He's going to redeem us from sin. Okay? He's going to redeem us from death. Uh, How did he do that? How is he doing that? Through Yahweh Shai. Those mm -hmm. that believe on Yahweh Shai are going to be redeemed from death it says oh death i will be thy plagues oh grave i will be thy destruction repentance shall be hid from my eyes so like i said those who do end up uh, uh dying because we're all dead here mm -hmm. as far as this mm -hmm. flesh man there's nothing lively about this flesh man the spirit's the only yeah. thing that, that really that really can uh that really is eternal all right this flesh right, is just right. a dying it's a dying a carcass man okay uh, unless, but unless we unless we be taken up unless we be taken up from um from the Gurkha troops and put in concentration camps and in the guillotine until death you know just being out and about doing our thing trying to survive and waiting for the most high to re redeem us and and uh deliver us we're not gonna die you know we're not gonna taste death in that day you know, we're not finna get bit and mauled to death by a, by a bear in that day. You know, we ain't finna get shot and killed in that day. Just running away. We ain't, that ain't gonna happen. Unless the most high have it to where we are surrendered to the troops and thrown into a uh we're gonna our death is gonna mean something. If we if we die, when we die, we're gonna die in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, believe him with faith that he is our redeemer and that and not and not denouncing our power. We're not gonna die a grievous death like um you know what I'm saying burning the death in the building. You know what I'm saying? We, the men of the Lord are gonna be saved from that. We're gonna be saved from the destruction for the wicked that the wicked is gonna the wicked is gonna partake in. But that's that's for the wicked, you know. But uh, honorable death, like like getting our heads cut off by not not denouncing our Lord, you know, and that that's that's how we're gonna be martyrs, you know. But we ain't gonna taste that death that the wicked's gonna taste. That that's for the wicked, you know. Um, this is the last scripture in Amos five. I know you got something to do, Baba Kisha. Uh, I get this real quick. Uh, I'll read it since um when I speak it stays on the scriptures. Amos five and um eighteen through twenty. It says, "Want to you that desire the day of the Lord of Yahweh Bashin Hashai." To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. You want to speak on that, bro? Those who desire the day of the Lord is referring to uh, Israelites who claim that they follow the Most High, who mm -hmm. claim that uh, the Most High is on their side and right. you know, they pray to the Most High and they give their tithes and all that. Uh, um, but the... Uh, the harsh truth of it is two thirds of our people are gonna get killed. That's right. They don't they don't believe that. They don't realize that. That's right. That's and right. uh so that's why I said destruction unto them. Just because mm -hmm. they don't realize it doesn't mean it's not gonna happen. Right. Um 
the end for them is going to be destruction. Right. They think it's going to be salvation and the rapture and Jesus with long stringy hair going to come down to save everybody that called upon his name. When in reality, that is going to be the opposite of the case. All right. Those people are not going to get any validation. Okay. That's right, brother. They're going to get pestilence or a sword or famine or all three. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, That's right. um, there's not going to be any escape from it unless you're unless you're being protected by the Most High, man. It should put fear in your heart, man. Really God, should, God, you know, man. really, God, really should, God. man. It should, you, you should God. be when you see and when you're seeing these things go on in the news, and then you're seeing men go into the Bible and break it down logically, spiritually, of course, but it makes logical sense. Right. You should want to inquire about those things, right? And see if they're true or not. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going. It says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into a, the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So you're going to be running away for your life. And when you get away from that little, not little, I'm sorry, from that threat to your life, there will be mm -hmm. a, another threat for your life. As if it was just like, what the hell? It's like it's like the most high is trying to kill me. Exactly. That's what you're probably <laughs> gonna think, because that's exactly what's gonna happen. He is going God, to brother. be trying to destroy you. God okay? brother. And ultimately he's gonna be terrifying you oh, in, yeah. in the midst of it. You're gonna be terrified. You're not just gonna run, happily run away and escape a lion, bro. You're gonna be terrified. You're gonna be you're gonna be terrified, bro. Man, it's, it, it's 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 really indescribable, man. You know, when the scriptures say there's not going to be a day like it since uh, since there was a nation, right? All we all we could do is imagine, <laughs> right? You know, God, I'm I'm gonna end it on this scripture. The last one says, "Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it?" Right, because that famine of the word is going to be in full effect. So that right. light that we're preaching. Uh, out to the uh, Israelite foreigners is uh, we're going to have it, of course. It's not going to go away from us, but it's not going to be openly publicized God. anymore because it's already been going out for, dec for, for, right. you know, for decades. And so, right, right. hey, man, you really can't say much, man, when, when the Most High unleashes that judgment and mm -hmm. you're on the receiving end of the stick. That's right. Because you had the time to get right and repent and you didn't, and you took it for granted. And and this and this is what's going to be your reward, but all this stuff is coming from Esau stirring it up, man. You know that's kind of what sparked this lesson. I, I believe it. Is that am I, am I correct, brother? Yeah, God, Esau stirring it up, man. He's he's getting it. He's it's it's, it's coming uh, in full effect, man. All these little things are adding up to it. You know, first it was the little pipe bombs uh, scare, and then it was a it was a uh, this 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 uh, synagogue shooting. You know. Back to back, little things, man. These are these are those uh, birth pains, man. That's happening, man. They're very small, but they're gonna become they're gonna become great here in the next Lord within the next few months, bro. Next oh, yeah. few weeks, you know. By the end of this year, I believe, man, it's gonna be something terrible gonna go down, bro. Hey, Before the end of this year, bro, we're in the best position to do that. For that to happen, I should say. Right. So. But yeah, brother, that's all I that's all you had, right? That's all I got, bro. Kind, kind. I'm gonna close out. Kind with that. We're gonna give all praises and glories to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and uh peace and blessing to the elect men out there pushing this truth, man. Shalom. Shalom.